guys, guys. Welcome, welcome to NYC. NYC. And as you can tell, we are here at Beauty in Essex. Hope Mike can okay. get a shot there. So it's actually in the back of a pawn shop, which is really cool. We just walked through the pawn shop briefly. There are um, a gazillion guitars on the, on the walls. A lot of cool ones. Les Pauls, Strats. They have some modified Les Pauls, really cool stuff. Yeah, we asked the lady behind the counter, can you actually buy things here? And she said, oh yeah, this is real true, it's a shop. So I thought maybe that was just part of the, um, you know, uh, what am I thinking? The, the mystery behind Beauty in Essex. But no, it's an actual shop. And we're really looking forward to a fun night. Mike has been here before. I have never, so this is my first time. We're going right. to get some food and some drinks tonight. We're celebrating Laura's 31st birthday. So we have a lot to celebrate. Uh, another year, we are another year wiser. And, yeah. uh, and happier, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's, there's looks like really good food cool cocktails and well we're gonna go check it out. It's like tamarind is really what you taste. It's kind of like a orangey flavor with lime and herbs. Citrus, but not like a harsh citrus, very smooth, warm orangey citrus. A little bit of spice from the red pepper jelly and obviously the mezcal. Delicious. I love this. Hi guys. I ordered the OD Old Dirty. Mine has a blackberry in it, as you can see on the top. I love blackberries. Uh, there's some lemon, some honey, tequila, all the makings of a wonderful drink. So, at first sip, we got the blackberry. And then, really, as you <laughs> as you continue sipping and you swallow, the after taste is a bit smooth. So I have a feeling Mike is going to be trying to get some of my drink throughout the night because he likes that. showed you these salmon tartare before, which was incredible. The spicy kind of mayo aioli. Um, and here are three of the other ones. So we have 
basically tomato soup bites. This is kind of like taking gr uh, grilled cheese and dipping it in tomato soup and eating a bite. It's uh, with goat cheese. Um, it's like taking, it's goat cheese, grilled cheese basically. Um, like butter your bread, goat cheese, in, in, a, in a tomato soup kind of uh, bath. So as you eat it, you, t you get all the elements of having a delicious by a tomato, uh, a grilled cheese dipped in tomato soup. We also have these amazing, um, uh, what are these? Beef, uh, bulgogi tacos, which actually have slices of pear on top, so then you get some pear, nice, um, kind of citrusy, sweet flavor, and then you push contrast against the, uh, the, uh, beef bulgogi, which is delicious. And then these, if you haven't tried yet, are eggplant, uh, eggplant pizzata. Um, so here, I'll try something new for you because I've tried these here already. Oh. oh man. Cheesy goodness. Delicious mac cheese on top. Man. I'd say the food, we, we expected the food here would be good, but this is top notch. This is beyond any of our expectations. Incredible. We're enjoying it for sure. This is round two. I got a drink that I'm pretty excited to try. It's called The Woodsman. And um, imagine it's kind of like being on a, being out in the country in a log cabin with some pancakes made this year. That's what I think it is. It's basically bourbon, allspice, graham, maple syrup, lemon, and muddled pears. It's got all the syrup in there. Mostly bourbon and maple. Imagining pancakes are waffles. Here we go. It's a lot more pear than I expected. Nice pear finish. But the opening is definitely maple syrupy and delicious. It's like it's like biting and taking a nice slice of a uh, pancake or waffle that has both maple syrup on it and some pears on top. Really, really good. Found a great time. Okay. <laughs> Birthday to you, happy birthday dear Laura, happy birthday to you, and many more. I hope. 44. Alright, see if they can make a wish. Thank you, you too. Hi guys, we're back after another successful night. <laughs> if that wasn't abundantly apparent by the fact that we're sitting on a couch in a well-lit place, what what uh, speakeasy or cocktail bars have we been to, gone to that have ever been well-lit? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a phenomenal night. Um, I I mean, I wanted to go to Beauty and Essex. I've only been there once before, and it was in 2013 on, on a Saturday night when it's more like a club. Um, so I didn't know what to expect. I knew they had served food there. Um, I knew they served cocktails, obviously, but I didn't know what, what to expect. But based on the, the Yelp pictures, it did look good. And it, I would say, far exceeded our expectations. Um, far. Like, we knew it was going to be good, but the food was just incredible. Mm -hmm. um, we got those four dishes, uh, which, we, which we split. Uh, Salmon tartare. Yeah. The um, pizza pizzetta. Eggplant egg pizzetta. pizzetta. And then we got the um, tomato soup and goat cheese. Yeah, it was like little grilled cheese bites made yeah. with goat cheese in oh. tomato soup on a spoon. So you would just basically put the whole thing in your mouth at once a bite. And it was like having basically eating a really 
like nice like gourmet um, grilled cheese dipped in delicious tomato soup. That was, I think, our favorite maybe. I think that was our favorite. Um, and I think there was a little bacon on there too. And then the last one was Oh um, yeah, the ribeye. Or ribeye bulgogi, bulgogi. Yes. Uh, little tacos, which are also amazing. So those were all really good. And don't forget our dessert. Yeah. We had a delicious peanut butter chocolate mousse popsicle. Mm. It was almost like a little popsicle, but it wasn't yeah. frozen. It was Ooh. oh, that was so good with some fluff or nutter. Do you remember back in the day, peanut butter and fluff sandwiches? I do. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. There was also some edible glitter on there. And, yeah. Um, uh, what was it? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Those little yeah. Things. That used to be my favorite. I remember too, every year too. we'd go on our summer vacation and I would have Cinnamon Toast Crunch and that was it. That was the end mm. all be all. And I could never have it again except for on vacation. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Um, and then this, we had oh. two desserts. The other one was like a, oh, yeah. an apple... Mm. Caramel apple pie uh, shot it was called, but it was like, it was like with the straw and you drink it. I think it had some like bourbon flavors in there too, but you'd basically drink it. It was like drinking like an apple pie, but that was also just absolutely delicious. Um, and then they gave Laura a cupcake for her birthday, which is nice. They, oh, do we still have that? Which yeah, we have. We, we ran out of space for that in our stomachs. Because um, lemon, yeah, we wanted to lemon save that. cupcake and. Well, I wanted to save that, and if I give him some of that out of the goodness of my heart, uh, then, then lucky him. But otherwise, lucky, it's all yeah. mine. Oh, yeah, I'll let her have it. And then we also, the drinks were also great. Um, as you saw in the clips, we each got two. Delicious. Um, we each got the same one. Uh, I got a first and Laura got a second, which was with tamarind. <laughs> you had to get it in there, didn't you? Yeah, tamarind, a little lime, and um, uh, mezcal. That was really good. That's so good. Um, the merchant. The merchant, I think. Yeah, is what and then and then I got one with um, with uh, I think bourbon and maple syrup, which was delicious, and pear. So they had all kinds of interesting combinations. They also had little slices of pears on the tacos, which were good. She had like the beef flavor and then like some like fruity flavor from the pears. So they, but all the food was just top notch. Like. Uh, we think it was one of our, the best meals oh. we've had in, in New York City, just in terms Absolutely. of like how good we got out of all, all four plates were all really great. So that was, uh, and then the drinks were good too. The atmosphere is really nice. There's, there's I think, uh, four different rooms. I think two downstairs, two upstairs. We were downstairs in one of the rooms. They all have kind of their own vibe. Um, but that was good. The waiters were all really attentive and nice and friendly. Um, so yeah, I really can't say anything bad. It was Wednesday night and it was packed. Uh, part of that may be that it's restaurant week, probably a lot of it, but also it's just like I think a popular place in general. Walking in and out through a pawn shop, a real functioning pawn shop is super cool. Mm -hmm. um, I, always, I, I was saying before, there's two kinds of speakeasies. There's, there's the ones that are completely hidden, they're unmarked. You really have to know where they are. That's, that would be like uh, Figure 19, which is the art gallery. Um, no signs or anything, or just like some of them just have an unmarked door. Now this one is, is marked, meaning there's a big, big sign that says Beauty in Essex, mm -hmm. but still hidden because that glowing sign is above what appears to be a pawn shop, and it is a pawn shop. You can go in there and buy a guitar off the wall, buy jewelry, um, but then hidden behind that is the speakeasy part, which is the restaurant and, and uh, cocktail bar and everything. So yeah, really cool. Totally recommend it. It's a fun way to celebrate Lord's birthday, fun way to spend a Wednesday night. And, uh, yeah. I loved it. It was one for the books, for sure. I think one of the best meals I've had while I've been in New York City. So, really awesome. Well, there you go. One more do you need. Mm. All right, guys. Hope you have a great night. And we'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Night.